Nintendo is well known for a few things. Having great first party games on their consoles, Pokemon making little to no changes over their games, crazy strange and wonderful game ideas, Sea Mirror Galaxy, Waggle, 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 and an impressive list of franchises at their disposal. This includes some IPs that have been all but forgotten about. They're also known for just leaving these random IPs out in the cold, freezing to death. Perhaps forever. Just to die. Rest in peace, Ice Climbers. You even lost your seat in the Smash Bros. roster. Then again, Nintendo has also given old games new life before. Remember Punch-Out? It was great to see it return to the Wii. It was such a fun game! Though admittedly it's small overall. It was nice to see a little Mac return to the ring and duke it out with the likes of Glass Joe. <laughs> Glass Joe sucks. Super Macho Man and Piston Honda, now known as Piston Hondo. I imagine that change was made so that Nintendo didn't pissed in the Honda car company off. <laughs> And we also got Kid Icarus Uprising on the 3DS. And before that, it was two decades since we've seen Pit save the day. And that game was great! Nintendo obviously doesn't forget that they have the old titles, they just seem to not care about them. So today, I'm here to discuss... What's the next game that Nintendo is gonna bring back and modernize? Well, with the Switch right around the corner, the real question is, what can fit into the Switch like the system was made for it? Honestly, I would wager a Punch-Out game that comes with a Versus mode. And I know, we got Punch-Out on the Wii... EIGHT YEARS AGO, HOLY CRAP! See, that's basically lost and forgotten again. Let's bring it back. Huh. That's right, we basically got another Punch-Out with arms. Well, I guess that's out of the question. What else could we see the return of? An easy answer could be F-Zero. F-Zero has been a crowd favorite pick for years. We haven't seen an F-Zero game since the Game Boy Advance, I believe. I'd love to see it myself. I loved F-Zero GX. It's a sweet exhilaration with high speeds. Oh, so awesome. Mario Kart 8's got the whole anti-gravity thing now, but not the top speed like F-Zero always did. Local multiplayer would also be great, since you could just take your Switch with you and meet up with your friends who also take their Switches with them. You wouldn't even need to do the whole split screen thing because, hey, you all have your own screens. And you'd also still get that graphical effects that made GX look so rad. Uh, then again, I suppose there's still that fast racing game, and we're even getting a title for the Switch anyways. Hmm. How about the old NES classic, Excite Bike? We could make it... 3D Excite Bike. SHIT! Okay, okay, I didn't mean 3D like that. I meant more like behind view. And maybe the game could even include some sort of a stunts mode? Where you win via the number of stunts you do, or the number of points the stunts are worth. Or you include a challenge mode, where winning the race isn't the only thing you have to do, but you also have to perform a number of stunts in order to actually get the win on the challenge. It's a possibility, but to be fair, it also sounds like something that isn't worth the full game price, like, say, Zelda or Mario. More like a DLC game at a cheaper price. I'm looking for a full large game, with the potential to expand upon it in the future. No cheating on this one! So looking at things from another perspective, there's always the option that Nintendo could try contacting a third party. I mean, it's not likely since it seems no one wants to work with them, but there's still the potential to revive something. Just look at Mega Man. In the older years, Mega Man was basically a Nintendo exclusive. Why not do a grander Mega Man game? Maybe finally give us that damn Mega Man Legends 3 we're supposed to have for the 3DS! Oh wait, that's right. Capcom literally hates Mega Man. That's why I'll never get a Mega Man Legends 3. We even got teased for this Mega Man Universe game that was supposed to be a crossover between Mega Man and other Capcom franchises, and it got pulled too. Capcom doesn't want to waste the time on the Mega Man fan base. We're not worth their time. Well, you know what? Fuck you two, Capcom. Fuck you two. Of course, my whiny bitch ass aside, Mega Man isn't the only thing that Nintendo could try to revive. Try contacting, like, Konami or someone like that. You know, revive Contra. I don't know, though. Nintendo's got plenty of in-house options still. And honestly, the best route might be to look at none other than Smash Bros. Sakurai has a soft spot for the classics and giving them some life. So if I were to place a venture on a guess or anything at all, 
I'm going to throw down with the Ice Climbers. Now I know what you're thinking. Why the Ice Climbers? They weren't even in the last Smash Bros. Do you have any idea what you're even saying? What can they do in today's age? They just jump up mountains. <laughs> I just wandered into this video from a random recommendation. What are we even talking about? And I say shut up. I'm obviously considering things. I wouldn't just speak without thinking. So, why the Ice Climbers? I think it's kind of important to have a few factors when selecting something to return, otherwise it's likely to be a DLC only small type of thing. Firstly, the game in question had to have been fun in the first place, and I like me some ice climbers, that's definitely a check right there. Secondly, there's got to be some interactive gameplay. This rules out games that are like Tetris? I mean, yes, you interact with blocks, but it's kind of all you do. Though there's plenty of old school games that would benefit from getting a fancy makeover. Fancy colors are always nice on classics it doesn't really offer a big full price tag experience. Now the Ice Climber game on the other hand, it offered hammer whacking, mountain climbing, and item collecting. <coughs> Lastly, a game with multiple enemies gives us something to work off of for a basis, and nothing stands out nearly as strongly as those super rad bears and those speedos, oh yeah! That is the very symbol of confidence and I love it. So the real question from here is, how can the Ice Climbers be expanded, or rather evolved, for our modern age? Well, don't get out of your seat just yet, because I already have the solution. Come on, who are we kidding though? We're all here because we don't get out of our seats, but don't change the video either way. I think the Ice Climbers could be rebuilt in a couple of different ways. The first way that comes to mind is making a more challenging and more hectic platformer, with a focus on vertical platforming. Kind of like the Donkey Kong Country games. Retro Studios did a great job breathing new life into the banana hoarding Kong when they brought out two new games in the same vine as the SNES gems of old. Just make this game with a little more focus on action with hammer swinging and climbing over rolling and bouncing off enemies. This is but one possibility and Retro Studios would likely be a great studio for this cause too, since it's very similar to the style of Donkey Kong Country Returns. And though this is an interesting possibility, I think there's an even better option available. I think it would be great to make an adventure platformer, specifically with a co-op game focus. It would be great to see the Ice Climbers in a 3D adventure trying to get to the top of a mountain, working as a team to solve puzzles and platforming over strange terrains. It would be kind of like a Metroid Prime meets Mario 64 with a sibling duo for a great multiplayer adventure. What, are they siblings or are they a couple? I don't, I don't know what their relationship is. I honestly think this would have a greater potential than the 2D action game. Give it a little story, nothing too big, like the idea of Nana and Popo being members of a small village at the base of the mountain, and that stupid pterodactyl steals the food supply, or a special relic or something, it doesn't really matter what. And Nana and Popo go on an adventure together to bring them slash it back. Given some great duel puzzles, you can swap between each climber, or do a two player co-op mode, and get through each trial together. The power of friendship and bonding from overcoming great challenges together. Or just play it alone like how I would. And hey, Smash Bros even gave us some cool ice powers they can use too, so you know, we could incorporate that. Look, bottom line is, I think looking at what Nintendo has at their disposal, Ice Climbers would be a great choice for the Switch. Giving us a great multiplayer experience, a great potential growth from a base concept, and they even come with enough awareness via Smash Bros and old school gamers nostalgia. Come on Nintendo, we need more revivals. You have great options available. And I even gave you a great basis for one, so let's see it happen! Or, you know, you could just give us Balloon Fight and give it the Bomberman facelift. Nice one, Xbox. Hey everybody, totally appreciate the fact you made it through the entire video. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I don't have much to say at the end here, I'm just gonna say, you know, if you like the video, hit the like button, you know, if you're not subscribed, subscribe so that way if you do want to watch more, I'll, you'll know when I'm actually making more videos, that, that, that really helps me out, you know, it boosts my self esteem and whatnot. Um, constructive criticism is always welcome, and even compliments too, and not just hint hint, and you know, what would really be the best is if you share it with your friends, I mean, I would love to share my content with more people if possible. Anyways, I've been rambling on enough, and this is not scripted, so, you know, don't mind me. Have a good one!